This bird won't give us any more information for quite a spell. What do you say, Cassie? Hadn't we better ride out to Hard Rock Mine? I'm way ahead of you, Doc. I had Bill saddle up for it. Well, I hope Idaho's found Steve by now, but he may need some help at that. Your horses are ready, Kathy. Thanks, Bill. I'm holding you responsible for that man in there. Nothing pleases me better. He really thought he was poisoned. And him telling Idaho where the raiders are holding Captain Clark so he could take this antidote. Sleeping <laughs> Clark, too, by now. Well, I ain't no hero. Hey, you all right? Yeah, sure. That's quite a bathtub you got there. Yeah, and they still got my legs tied. Yeah, cut yourself loose with this. sure there are no more raiders around here that can shoot. Good. Stay here, Kathy. I'll see what's inside. Wait, it's Idaho. Doc and Kathy, what are you doing? Where's Steve? Steve? <laughs> he was pretending he was a whale, but he's back to normal now. <laughs> chance to save Lawton, yet the Wells Fargo detective was able to rescue Clark. Is that it? You make it sound as if I hadn't done what I was supposed to. Did you? Everything I could without getting Bart and me killed. What has that to do with the fact that Clark now has enough information to hang us all? Fortunately, Rawhide is still unconscious. He must never be permitted to tell Clark what he knows. Rawhide's a raider, and the boys won't stand for shutting him up with a bullet. That's just the point of it, Braddock. I want you and the raiders to rescue him. You mean right into town? If necessary, yes. Bring the raiders as far as Brush Canyon. I'll get a word to you there. They won't like taking on Aura Grandy. Neither do I. The Rohai's life may depend on it. All right. I'll get them for you. Thank you, buddy. I knew you would. Oh, by the way, uh, you better start figuring how you're going to share the gold, Morel. The war is over and the men want their cut. Raiders have become a problem. Yes. But I think I've succeeded in convincing Braddock that I'm loyal to him and to them. So do I. It would have been different, though, had he known that Lawton's real name was Manfred von Rinkton. That's why it's absolutely essential that Braddock should believe our only danger is the possibility of Rawhide talking. 
But if Von Brinkton was carrying any secret papers, Clark must have them by now. That means he knows that we are Prussians stealing American gold to buy Alaska. Yes, I understand. You plan to have the raiders save us as a part of their attack to rescue Rohide. Our secret can only be kept by destroying Clark, all his interdicts, and the von Richter's papers. Close the door. These 1752 coins must be some sort of countersign. Yes, and that man Lawton you killed was apparently a traveling agent. Too bad he didn't have any papers on him except his card. No, yeah, that's smart. Carl Lawton and the Rackerby Importing Company are probably both false names. Well, let's hope Rawhide knows something about all this. How is he, Doc? Thought maybe he took too big a dose, but his pulse is fine. <laughs> He'll wake up as fresh as a day. Mm -hmm. How long will he sleep? Well, can't say. Oh, by the way, Kathy, have you asked Bill yet what we were talking about on the ride back from Hard Rock? No, I haven't, Steve. Have you got something for me to do, Captain Clark? Do you remember any of the passengers on board the eastbound this morning? Well, just one, because the stage left without him. That's the man. Where did he go? That I don't know. I held the stage five minutes waiting for him to show up. When he walked away, did he have any luggage? No, as a matter of fact, I should have taken these things off the stage, but I forgot to. How can we get hold of his bags? What time is it? 2.15. That stage should reach dry wells in about an hour. Clear the wires, Dan. I want to send a preferred message. All right, Kathy. There you are. Now, you will leave with our records. Clark has no reason to suspect you. Yes. But what if my name appears in Von Rington's papers? All agents have strict orders not to mention you. R. H. Dixon. Wells Fargo. Agent. Dry Wells. California. Uh -huh. Remove. Baggage. Mark. Carl Lawton, Rackerby Company, from eastbound, due within hour. Return Lawton's baggage on next Oro Grande stage and confirm. Signed. C. Haynes, acting Wells Fargo agent, Oro Grande, California. Huh. Remove baggage mark Carl Lawton. You see, they didn't find anything on Lawton to prove him to be Von Richten. Yes, but this only postpones the trouble. There will surely be papers in Lawton's things. Oh, but you're assuming that Captain Clark will get the baggage. I shall have to change my plans. Outside. You'll have to help me. Just a minute. It's just like I said. If Morel can save Rawhide any other way, he will. If he can't, it's up to us to attack Oregon. Look, Brett. You got any idea of what Morel's really up to? No, I haven't, but Gold's only part of it. He's not telling me everything. Might pay us handsome if we find out. I've been thinking the same thing. Brad, I've been wondering why we couldn't write that fellow Morel off and retire. Now the war is over. And having all that gold piled up below is making a lot of the boys think the same way, Slim. Well, you think it over. All right, I will.
word from your agent at Dry Wells, Kathy? Yes, confirmation. He'll telegraph again as soon as he's put Lawton's baggage on the westbound. Good. Uh, how's our guest doing? Oh, he's wide awake and drinking coffee. Well, I think it's time I had a little talk with him. That phone of yours won't let me look at his foot, Kathy. Never mind. I'll tend to him myself. Thanks, Bill. Good afternoon, ma'am. Good afternoon. I'd like a reservation on the next stage for Sacramento, please. You might have to wait a spell, ma'am. There are a lot of folks traveling now this pesky war is over. But uh, won't you sit down? I'll check my list. Thank you. You, uh, leaving us, Mr. Sark? A singer on tour is always saying goodbye, Mr. Jones. Just call me Idaho. Wonder if you could tell me something about Clay Randolph. The man who died here the other day? You mean murdered? I know. I don't like that word. I understand he was a Confederate. How well did you know him, Mr. Tsard? Oh, no better than I ever get to know any patron who comes to hear me sing. But he, he seemed very polite. Why? Randolph took this from somebody in the Golden Eagle, just before he was shot. I never saw a coin like that before. It's an interesting trinket. Oh, too, in... 1752. Uh, may I see it more closely? Sure. You will get a better break from me than if I turn you over to the Army. I can't talk. They'd kill me. Who would kill you? Oh! Ride the brush canyon, tell the boys to take Lawton's luggage off the westbound stage. All right, we scatter. taking word to the Raiders of Brush Canyon about Lawton's baggage. Holy smoke. Who tipped them off? Oh, they must have learned about that telegram I sent to Dry Wells. Can you kind of man the order? It's too late. It's up to you and me, Idaho. We've got to get to that stage ahead of the Raiders. Out after all. Yeah, but now we gotta help him. What's up? We're to stop the westbound stage and take Lawton's baggage from it. That's the easiest job we've had yet. Howdy, Captain. Thought you'd riders at first. They'll be along soon enough. Give us the baggage mark for Lawton. Hold it. Here comes trouble. They can see us. Give us some other baggage. Good idea. If they think we've got what they want, they won't search the stage. If the writers leave you alone, don't give Lawton stuff to anybody but Kathy Haynes. Nobody, Captain. But you better light out. You did, go. think we got a lot in stuff. Yes, and now it's up to us to keep them thinking that way until the stage has time to reach Ora Grande. Anywhere. 
Mirage will lose men. I've been thinking the same thing, but there's another way. Take a look up there. That rock's only hanging by a hair, and it's right behind them. Yeah, nothing's holding it but a little shale. You think we could knock it loose? Yeah, we can try. Let's use our rifles. Thank <laughs> you. 